What's up guys, it is your one and only Welsh Dragon PSG and I'm back to my PSG crew Remo fan ever should join me if you can hear a fan in the background. <laughs> It's hot day, it's a hot day today. But guys, make sure you drop the video like this, get 200 likes, it would be highly, highly appreciated. And guys, make sure you drop me a comment below. I asked this last time, so I want to get you all to keep commenting on it. What do you want to see in FIFA 15? Some great ideas we've seen come through last episode. So make sure you post another comment and hopefully you'll enjoy. I'm doing another little, I'll do this actually, maybe just have a video, I might talk about it now. But anyway, we got the transfer window is now open, the contracts are running out, we got free games here, we got a game coming up. Right now, so transfer windows now finally open. We have got the targets at the moment. You'll find out who they are in the episode. Don't forget, make sure you drop that video a like. So we got some primary targets. Kind of took a lot of suggestions from you guys um, commenting on the last reps on who to actually buy. Everybody wanted me to buy James Rodriguez in the first transfer window. What people didn't actually realize is that I couldn't buy him in the first transfer window, but now we can. So can we have a little bit in? For him, and also a rumor that it could see us maybe coming to PSG because Sirigo has been a bit on and off. And will we successfully sign him? We're not too sure. But I'm gonna have a quick mention a little thing about FIFA 15. So I'm planning my Karimos. I got two Karimos planned. I got a Road to Glory Karimo with Peter Brower, which I'm looking to do. I follow me on Twitter. I, no, actually, follow me on Twitter. All the details are on there. I tweet about it all the time. Follow me on Twitter while showing the SG. But anyway, it's a lovely goal here from the team, the home side. It was a great chest down to now a defender inside out, Thiago Silva, actually. And they do end up making it 1-0. 40 minutes now, we do end up getting a chance. Whip the ball in ahead of Hummels. And it's off the post, and it's going to go come across Hummels again. And it's off the post, straight into the goalkeeper's hands. And they do end up keeping it at 1-0. 45 minutes in, we def um, Van der Veel on the ball. He's going to whip the ball into it. Lavezzi, and it's a great save on the goalkeeper. Absolutely magnificent there, uh, Ochana, I can't remember his name, you know I'm on with the Mexican goalkeeper, did amazing at the World Cup, ball comes in to Menez on the noggin from Ashley Cole, Ashley Cole guys, none of you ripped him apart in the last episode, but I'm glad you didn't because he gets an assist here to Menez, absolutely magnificent goal, great to lob over the goal, um, to lift over the defender, kind of took him out with his knees. But moments, moments later, they do end up getting a chance. No, actually, Cavani on ball, good defending, and he squares it across and makes a mistake. Cavani, you're a striker. You shouldn't have been there anyway. Looks like he tries to square it across to get rid of it. Didn't see the attack, and the attack reads it very, very well. But anyway, 53 minutes in, we get a chance. Ball drops to Cavani. Can he redeem himself? He's going to go for the shot. There's a great save on the goalkeeper to keep it at 2-1. 2-1 now, 80 minutes in, the ball comes in and it looks like it's a foul and it's apparently given by the referee. What a chance, what an opportunity now. Ibrahimovic coming on to take the penalty. It's not a, the composure's not good, but it's a great, great into the back of the net. The goalkeeper went the right way, but it's now 2-2, a final nine minutes, an edgy nine minutes. What can we do? Verratti on the ball, he's going to go for the shot and it's just wide of the post, still keeping it in 2-2. Here we are now on the attack. Charleston down his right hand side. Ibrahimovic cuts on inside. Does the defender one, two, three, four. Gets the ball into the back of the net. What a finish. What a goal. What a play. I'll have to say from Ibrahimovic to keep uh, to make it. And look by the looks of things to win us the game at 3 2. We needed the win. But can we keep hold of the lead? It was a one man show. Ibrahimovic, what a surprise. But we do end up winning that game. 3-2, what a result, a massive, massive result, a great turnaround to go in 1-0 up, then 2-1 down, we are second place, 40 points now, so we're slowly moving up the table, great, great result, but anyway, let's have a look, we're going to have a little transfer news, we're going to see what players we can buy, and you all know who exactly who I'm going for, we're going to try to sign the one and only uh, James Rodriguez, a lot of you have actually told me to buy him. Valued at 12 million, which I thought, wow, that's a bit of a bargain. But then eh, it's the bombshell. 23 million to 32. So I offer 20, just a little bit below. 60 grand wage, which is not too bad. So we can actually afford that pretty well. And also, I always sign this. I always sign this guy at the start of my career models, and he's always a little bit difficult. But normally you can get him. We got, tried to bring in a Casillas. He's one of my favorite goalkeepers ever. In all fairness, he's 32. He doesn't play at Real Madrid, so. But lots of things we could sign him, but he is a big star at the club, so can we sign him or not? But our offer got rejected my uh, man uh, by uh, Real Madrid for a, 7 a 5 million offer. But we go up to 7.5 of what he's actually valued at, and hopefully we can sign him 
there and let's have a look who else and they do and they actually want 11 million they tried to bring it but I was a bit skeptical I was like what do I do do I go for nine do I try a bit more but this is why do I go in for nine we try a bit of negotiations back and forth back and forth all that type thing and also they rejected the James Rodriguez one 32 million we gotta go for so you know what I went straight in for it because guess what we are PSG not Ackland Stanley and we can get the funds to pay for him but anyway they do end up accepting the nine million offer so I had to do a little uh, wiggly doogly changing certain stuff finances to try and cover his wage and that's what we do end up doing we do end up changing up so I was like you know what I'm gonna give him a good wage he's he's gonna he's a starting 11 goalkeeper for us so you want him to have a good wage and you want him to come over he's been at the club for ages so we offer him a one-year contract critical to first team player 10% wage, but we offered that 150 first just to see what happens and to see if they do end up trying to come back and say, actually, I want some more or I don't want to join the club because usually a bit of money can actually help you out quite a bit. But then anyway, look at this now. They do end up accepting our offer and 80,000 grand a week he wants, James Rodriguez, the tit. Critical first team player, so we do end up. Uh, putting him as a critical first team player for us we do add Sergio to the transfer list and here it is James Rodriguez does end up signing for us a magnificent signing a lot of you guys wanted him so it's a massive massive um, buy for us 32 million 80 grand wage and anyway we do end up changing the side round a little bit um, he doesn't actually come over just yet he hasn't fully transferred over so he doesn't actually play against his old side um, Monocle which is will be coming up so we change the side round a little bit and unfortunately, he doesn't feature in this game, but he will feature in the next game. Hopefully, uh, he doesn't pull an injury in training. I've had that happen before. I got a player, and he pulled an injury within the first training session. So it's like, you're on a giraffe, mate. Anyway, Lavez is now on the ball. He's going to pull the ball over to Menez. And Menez fighting for his position now. But you look at this. He gets an assist within the first five minutes. Cesc Fabregas with the goal. Cesc Fabregas seems to do those late runs all the time. And that's where I've actually scored a couple of goals with Fabregas this season with that particular technique. Uh, or with him doing those attacking um, awareness runs. And I have to say, absolute brilliant goal. Brilliant play. Many as again fighting for his position over James Rodriguez. Guys, I want your advice. Do I play James Rodriguez in a cam or a right wing position? He will be playing as a, a time midfielder, but will he play on the right or will he play centre? Let me know in the comments below. Lavezzi with a chance. Many is again running the show, putting a football to Lavezzi, and it's still 1-0, 56 minutes gone. Monaco on the ball. So then this looks obvious now. Falcao's in the box. It looks like Tesorano is going to whip the ball into go. Falcao and it's into the back of the net straight past Sirigu and it's down and it's 1-1 but anyway they do end up getting another chance on the corner the ball comes in to Revere and it drops a Falcao where's the defence it wasn't any defenders here it was a massive open we were man marking by the looks of things and we left a zone open so a bit of a downside there Ibrahimovic now on the ball lovely one to pass in Fabregas Fabregas going to go for the shot but it's I think that was a foul by the lots of things it was. It's going to go out for a corner. And it's 81 minutes in now. 2-1. Can we make it 2-2? And it's on the head of Hummels. He's OP on a corner. What a brilliant goal. OP on the corner. Hummels is one of my favourite centre-backs. And I'll say I'll be doing my series uh, in a couple of weeks, actually. Um, actually, we'll be doing it very soon. Our best Karimo players. And I think Hummels may actually feature in there. Uh... Yeah, I think he will. He's a quality, quality centre back. One of my favourites, without a doubt. But anyway, so good to send recovery. 90th minute, and we do end up drawing that game 2 2. And a great result to come back from 2 1 down. We got a lot of comebacks lately, but Menez with man of the match. Is he going to keep <laughs> um, Rodriguez out the side? I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comments. So. Uh, AC Milan, they do end up signing Sirigu off us, and this is where we're trying to bring in Casillas. Quick, we need to sign it, Casillas. We do end up signing him for like a 6.6 6 million, something like that, which is pretty decent. And here we go, I'm going for the offer and going, you know what, 200 grand, I'll give it to you. Here we go, I have the 200 grand, and we tried to sign you. One year contract, that should be happy days. Will we sign him? I'm not too sure, but anyway, you're still the league after the last game, we're down in the fourth. With a game in and over Monaco. But anyway, find out next episode. Just so you know, transfer deadline day should be next episode. So make sure you tune in for that to find out. If we sign Ica Casillas, it's a big sign. we got James Rodriguez. Find out the starting 11 now. Let's have a quick look. 
at, there is the home side, Nate, I think that's how you pronounce that, not 100%, but it's, um, uh, oh yeah, we do, uh, Rodriguez does end up starting, I completely missed out a little bit, <laughs> James Rodriguez does end up starting, Ibrahimovic up front, Levesi on the left, Says Fabigas in the middle, look, here he is now, oh no, he wasn't on the ball, he could have got it, though, but he didn't get it, but anyway, they're on the ball now, on the attack, he's going to go for a through ball, but it's a great save from Sirigu, yet to go to AC Milan, the off has been accepted, but will he join, not too sure, Rodriguez, look at this, he's coming across, he's going to cut back on inside, with his right foot, and it's just wide of that right arm post, and it was close, but not close enough, and we've got Matuidi now, on the ball, gives the ball to Ibrahimovic, lovely through ball to Lavezzi, this counter attack is absolutely perfect, Lavezzi now on the ball, he's going to sort the ball in the bottom right hand corner, what a finish, what a play, what a goal, Lavezzi, the Argentinian beast, is gonna. He scored so many goals like that this season, and he doesn't prove any different there. He scores again. Menyes now on the ball. He's, he comes on for Cesc Fabregas. We put him in the middle. No, we put Rodriguez in the middle. Menyes on the right. And put the ball into Ibrahimovic, and it's a great goal. Another headed goal. And we so that we, see where it cut in there, and it does a little curve out, and it goes slightly more forward, and it curves a little bit. You seem to score quite a lot of headers like that, and I didn't notice that at first, but guess what? You do. But anyway, Rodriguez now on the ball. What's he going to do with it? Even now, tries to give the ball back to Menia. As ball comes into Ibrahimovic, there's a bicycle kick, but it's just wide off the post. What a play. And it looks like in the 90th minute, we're going to win 2 0. And it's a never, never. No, it's not actually. The ball goes over the top to Menia. We're not going to win 2 0. We're going to win 3 0. Menia with the goal. He comes. By the looks of things, he could possess Fabregas out of his position. It's so many options, but many is Sancho running the show lately. It is. 1 2. PSG. Menyes show. FIFA 14. That's what it is. Menyes absolute brilliant goal. Shane Rodriguez doesn't score, but we do end up winning that game 3-0. Man gives some reason out. But anyway, guys, I want to say thank you very much for watching. That's the end of this episode. Make sure you drop the video a like, a comment, and don't forget to tell me what you want in FIFA 15. And guys, just get to 100 likes and goodbye.